Hi right, guys. Um, good morning, everybody. All right. So this is our pre-recorded session for today. Um, so basically, I would have asked you all to complete um, several questions, organic chemistry questions. Um, so let's get right to it. All right. So the first one here. This is. One sec, right. So this was first one here is from June 2017, um, question three. And we have a compound P and it has a condensed formula, right? So make sure you all understand the differences between the types of formula we can have. We can have a structural formula. We can have a condensed formula. We can have a molecular formula, right? Um, sometimes you hear them ask for a fully displayed formula, right? So make sure you understand the difference between these terms here. Um, with the condensed formula, it's very easy to draw the structure. So they said, um, one, state the name and the general formula of the homologous series to which this compound belongs. So we have a compound here, CH3, CH2, 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 CH3. So that is an alkene, right? Because we see no double bonds there. So this is, a, this is an alkene, right? So one mark for an alkene. Um, the general formula, if it's an alkene, the general formula is going to be CnH2n plus 2, right? So we went to the general formulas for all the organic, comp <clears throat> organic compounds that we need to know. Now, let's, they didn't access the name, but we can try to name it. We have one, two, three, four, five, right? And we have, the name of this compound here is going to be pentene, right? As the name of the compound. And they said state one use of compound P, right? Now, um, pentane can be used as a fuel, right? So if you are not sure, you can just use fuel if you want to, right? So pentane is used as a fuel, right? Um, so this is June, 2017. Let me just check something for you guys before we move on. Hold on. Huh? I just want to see if CXC wanted anything more specific than fuel, right? Well, it's good to, to know what they are thinking in terms of how they want their answers. Uh, just so. <clears throat> So oh, we don't have an examiner report for this one. Okay. All right, so that's fine. We could work with the field for now. Next one here, define structural isomerism, right? So when you say structural isomerism, um, so we're talking about organic compounds. Right, which have the same molecular formula, but different structural formula, right? So that's what I want here in order to get this mark. Right, so two marks for that. Then it said draw the fully displayed structure of one isomer of compound P, right? So we knew what compound P was. So compound P, let's draw it out here. First of all, what it should look like, a straight chain molecule. And from there, we can draw the isomer. One, two, three, four, five. So this was pentene, right? So this is a normal straight chain here, but what we're gonna do for them, we're gonna draw a different structure here, right? So I can do this. We have five there, so. All 
right? So some of you all may have different answers for this because you can have more than one structural isomer in this case here for pentene. Right, this is just one example. Right, this is one possibility. Um, all right, so that's one isomer there. <clears throat> Next one. Compound Q has a condensed formula of CH3CH2COH. Explain why compound Q is soluble in water. So the first thing, you see the COH group here, that tells me that it's a carboxylic acid, right? It's a carboxylic acid, right? And that, if we were to draw the structure, it's gonna look like this. This is CH3, this is CH2, and this is COO. Each, right? That's my carboxylic acid here that they've given us here. So this is compound Q. That's what it looks like. Now they want to explain why Q is soluble in water. So Q has this group here. See this OH group here? That makes it a polar molecule. So you're going to see the OH group in the acid. is polar, right? A water molecule is also polar. All right, so then you could say compound Q forms bonds with water molecules and is soluble, right? So this is, the, this is the answer we're looking for here. So we need to talk about the uh, the fact that the um, compound Q has a polar OH bond, right? Water is also a polar molecule, right? And therefore compound Q is able to form bonds with water molecules and is therefore soluble. The next part here is the solution of compound Q acidic or basic and state a reason for your answer. Well, it's a carboxylic acid, so we know it has to be acidic. So compound Q is acidic. Right? Because it can produce H plus ions in solution, right? So anything along those lines or, in, or by just saying it's a carboxylic acid is fine, right? Um, if you wanna be more precise, you can do something like this as well. This is a, a possibility. I'm not saying you have to put this, but you can if you want, right? Um, it gets... And what you're going to get here is CH3, CH2, COO minus EQ plus H plus. So if you, even if you put the equation alone, that'll give you the marks because the equation is showing that you're producing H plus ions in solution, which is what an acid is. Compound R now, we have this compound here, it reacts with bromine to form compound S. State the expected color change. Now compound R, if you look carefully at the formula, it has a double bond in it. So that's an alkene, right? We know the reaction for alkenes. When you react with bromine, you get rapid decolorization, right? Um, so the expected color change, so the color change will be reddish brown. To colorless, right? They're giving you two marks for this, eh? those easy marks. And draw the fully displayed structural formula of compound S. <clears throat> so you want to draw compound S. So what I would do, I would draw R first. So I understand what I have to draw, right? Um, so this is C here, a C here. And we have an XCH3 here. So this here is compound R, 
right? So this is not your answer. This is just compound R. And I'm drawing this so you can see what you have to draw for compound S. So you're reacting this with BR. Now, when you react that with BR2, right? You're gonna have an addition reaction taking place. So what is gonna happen is that the double bond is gonna disappear. Uh, what's gonna happen is this. BR is gonna be here, BR is gonna be here. And then what you're gonna have is H, H, H. All right, and this is my compound. This is compound S, right? This is compound S. So that is 2017 and that's the third question.